The parish church in Domahovo is a rare relic of medieval wooden architecture. However, it was many times rebuilt and extended. Ultimately, the building consists of several parts joined together in a more or less permanent manner. The connection between the presbytery and the nave was considered particularly weak. As a result, the building is slowly sloping and shaking during the violent weather phenomena. So it is a nice object for monitoring. The more so because such a complex structure is difficult to model digitally in order to calculate the target forces and stresses. Geodetic measurements are used to calibrate the digital analysis and therefore will be the basis of the correct inference regarding the method of strengthening weak joints of the building. The method of measurements includes two categories. The first one is the selection of measurement method as a function of the expected amplitudes and frequencies of the displacements. The second is the way of expressing the inclinations based on the collected readings. The adopted solution of the first thematic group is presented in the diagram. It consists of three columns. The left one identifies the phenomena, the next describes their nature and expected extreme values, and the right one points out the method of measuring these quantities. Two main frequencies of change were identified. First, slow movement resulting from a certain instability of the object, the impact of ground changes and the long-term climate changes. Measurements to detect the resulting displacements were defined as static and it was concluded that they have to be performed with high accuracy. The second, fast changing and even forced movement of a structure with a relatively large amplitude because of its dynamic nature requires a high frequency of measurements. To describe displacements, a local coordinate system was defined with the x-axis along the nave, it is marked in maroon, the y-axis marked in green runs across the nave. The static displacements were measured with Leica TCRP 1201 plus 1 second 1 millimeter total station. As a result, three components of displacement are obtained in nine points, four located under the ceiling of the presbytery, four in the nave, one on the pin under the coil, and an additional point 3A for assessing the actual accuracy of the measurements. The results of 10 months measurements are presented on the charts. On the upper line are points from the presbytery and on the lower one from the nave. It was found that the displacement slightly exceeded 3 mm, but did not show any distinct tendencies during the research period. The diversification of the size of the displacement proves the non-uniformity of the behavior of the given building fragments. For dynamic measurements, electronic two-axis tilt sensors were used, two in the nave and two in the presbytery. To convert inclinations into displacements at the ceiling level, a rigid beam model with a joint at the base was used for the column. The displacement components obtained after this conversion were compared with indications of the weather station. To harmonize the results from both devices, the inclinometer readings were grouped into 10-minute blocks and the minimum and maximum values were selected for them. The results are shown in the charts. Comparing measured tilts with the weather sensor readings shows that the gust of wind are the main factor causing vibrations up to plus minus 18 mm. The facility will continue to be monitored, especially after it will have been stiffened. Thank you for your attention.